all kinds of people who would not have made pictures not too terribly long ago or would not have been able to gain access to the machinery to make pictures a few years ago now have that access. And so you get a picture like Tangerine, which was made for you know, under $100,000, as I understand it. Um, you know, many years ago, it was regarded as kind of remarkable when Sylvester Stallone made Rocky outside of the, outside of the Hollywood establishment. Now, it's not regarded as remarkable at all when he or Spike Lee or anybody, I, the, the, the current day uh, Stallones and Spike Lees and, and those people um, make pictures. Uh, we call them mumblecore. We talk about them at, at Sundance. There's a, there's a whole different way of, of seeing those kinds of movies now. And critics, because mainstream Hollywood makes such dull pictures, um, have taken to finding those pictures more interesting. Um, I, I think, you know, Tangerine got some of the best reviews of any picture this year. Uh, and I think that's largely because, not, not, not so much because it was made on iPhone 5s, but because it's, I, I'm noticing that my hand is doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but, be, but because, um, because it's, a, it's a strong piece of movie making, because it's well directed, because it's well acted, because it's a slice of life that most people have not seen. Um, and so it becomes, it becomes remarkable in that sense and, uh, and, and mainstream in a sense. Um, and I think that that's, that's the, I, I gotta say, if, if, what I, if the alternative is for me to see Avengers Age of Ultron <laughs> and Ant-Man, I, I think I'm going to be reviewing these smaller pictures that are more interesting, and so is every critic in America. Um, I, I think it's just an automatic thing that there's more to talk about, about the smaller pictures and the pictures that don't do what Hollywood does so regularly and so well, but so regularly that there's nothing more to say about it. 